The local pilot boarded our ship early in the morning, and the early bird leads us to our next port of call, Basterre, the capital of St. Kitts. It's October 20, 2010. Originally named St. Christopher during the first permanent European settlement, the island's name was officially changed to St. Kitts in 1988. On this day's excursion, we boarded a four-wheel drive former British Army troop truck. It would be an exciting safari travels to St. Kitts Southeast Peninsula. Well, good morning folks and welcome to the Southeast Peninsula tour. What we're going to do, we're going to go east along the Bar State shoreline. Uh, my name is Chris, I'm your host Country National and Andy is the one behind. The truck was fully loaded. Where I seated wasn't the best place for me to comfortably take some pictures without getting in the way of others or intruding into one's space. We climb up to the top of the hill overlooking the Frigate Bay and the resort area. This postcard view was awesome. We spent about 15 minutes here to appreciate the nature's beauty. On the other side was the calendar view of the green hills and the salt pond. We then proceeded and continued our safari travels with a short stop. A brief photo ops of the ship, the Friars Bay, some excellent views of the rugged coastline, and the capital city bus there in the distance. Driving down near the shore, we were asked to look out for monkeys among the vegetations on both sides of the road. This day was a disappointment because I never saw one. If you ever come to this island to stay for a while to do some snorkeling and stuff, this is one of the best places to go to do snorkeling. Mm. There's reefs and stuff down there, but there's also two military ships from the 1700s. Oh. One is a troop carrier that ran aground in a hurricane, and the other is a frigate that got damaged in a battle. There's been a lot of battles out here. During our next stops, our guide gave us some historical lessons of our surroundings and stories about the area of the past when it was inhabited. It was hard to remember it all because he talked fast and we wanted to be busy taking pictures. British archaeologists were here doing some study mapping and studying the ships and so right? But people have discovered it before they came. And people started taking some publishing.
Cockle Shell Bay, we all got up for about an hour of beach time. Some of us wasted no time and went snorkeling. Others combed the beach for shells while I enjoyed the views and walked around for pictures. Our assistant guide, Andy, prepared the local island snacks, fruits in season, and fresh homemade juices. And they invited me to go up on the Jeep Cherokee. Thank you. welcome. $56,000 in Enjoy. Thank you. You're most welcome. Would you like some bananas? Are you a little monkey? The bin. They're right here. You're a little monkey. <laughs> My crewmates Don and Gert are enjoying the safari, and so do I. Watermelon, white rum, can't beat that for breakfast. Just give me the bottle number one. Number one. The happy trio celebrates the beautiful day with rum punch and picture souvenirs of this tropical paradise. <laughs> Here to you, everybody. Uh, hey, here's the Coca Shell Bay. Coca Shell Bay, right? Not letting it ruin the vacation, right? <laughs> back, don't swap seat with me so I can take some pictures at a different angle. What I got mostly was plenty of beautiful rocks and a long shot of a monkey climbing over. The trip wasn't bad. We got to experience what it was like being a British army troop crowded in a truck and heading for an encounter with the enemy. But instead of shooting with guns, we were shooting with digital cameras loaded with memory cards. Everybody seemed to be excited and happy to have been here, and saw for ourselves what an island this was. In the afternoon, we had time to walk around in town. The craft market was full of cruise passengers browsing for souvenirs and happy to be on land for a day. Don, Gert, and I walked downtown and came across the Independence Square. The square was empty and no one around except us. I was beginning to worry that our ship left without us, but we pressed on and visited the cathedral across the street. There's no one inside either. It felt like I was in a twilight zone. Back to the market by the pier, there were a few shoppers left, and soon we decided it was time for us to get back to the ship. It was another beautiful day, and a visit to St. Kitts was something I would remember. Back on board, and uh, we've now accounted for everything a series of uh, north and northwesterly courses, and uh, that'll take us all up 
all the way up to the US Virgin Islands and then of course uh, for our arrival in St Thomas uh, tomorrow morning. So ladies and gents, as I say, I hope you've enjoyed your uh, stay in here in uh, St Kitts with us and uh, if you're on the open decks, enjoy the sail away with us.